Okay, hello. Hello, teacher. How are you today? Hello, teacher. Okay. Okay, Hi, teacher. Hello, teacher. I'm trying to connect to a kind of a slow this. Okay. Hello, teacher. Hello. Good Hi, evening, guys. teacher. Good evening. How are you today, guys? Everything fine? No problem? Everything well. Okay, that's nice. That sounds, hey, my, that sounds like a good day for you. Oh, let me see what we have today. Uh, section three, right? Okay, I'm going to share my screen so that we can see the share this and so we can share it. Okay, so then we have uh, yesterday uh, we were we were working with uh, negative statements, right? So we said that we have the negative sentences and the just the questions. What else do we have? Is he from Brazil? Is he from Chile? Is it Korean? Are you from China? Are we late? Are they in Canada? If you notice the examples above, you can see that we have the verb to be, then the subject, and finally some kind of complement. In order to answer this type of questions, you will typically give a chance to know questions would be. Let's start by looking at the examples. Okay, pay attention to this uh, sentences because after this video, we're going to go to the, uh, to the groups and we're going to practice with uh, negative sentences, affirmative sentences, and you are going to be asking questions to your classmates. For example, uh, you can say, hi, me, are you from California? And they say, no, I am not, I am from El Salvador, okay? Uh, you can say, Ivan, are you from Santa Ana? No, I am not, I am from uh, La Libertad. Okay, are you from uh, Panama? No, I am not, I am from uh, Chile, right? So you can use, uh, you can invent, right, and practice the question, okay, in, for different, uh, different uh, types of answers, okay, that you can provide. Okay, good. Now listen to the video, pay attention to the pronunciation, and remember, the construction, negative, I'm not, you're not, she's not, he's not for men, it's not. Uh, we're not. In the question, we invert. Okay, are you from? Am I? Is she? Okay, is it? Are you? And in the affirmative, I am. Okay, so then you don't use I am not, okay, just I am. Also on the screen, all the statements that you see are negative statements. I'm not from New York. You're not late. She's not from Russia. He's not from Italy. It's not English. We're not from Japan. You're not early. They're not in Mexico. In order to form negative statements would be you need to follow this next formula. Subject plus verb to be plus not plus complement. So let's try to make sense of this. I M not from New York. The example above, 
when express spoken, we will typically use contractions. So that's why we say I'm not from New York rather than I am not from New York. We make the contraction. Let me give another example. You are not late. Now let me talk about making questions with be. This is the structure to follow. Verb to be plus subject plus complement. We're going to take the examples from this chart. So are you from California? And then put a question mark at the end. Am I early? Is she from Brazil? Is he from Chile? Is it Korean? Are you from China? Are we late? Are they in Canada? If you notice the examples above, you can see that we have the verb to be, then the subject, and finally some kind of complement. In order to answer this type of questions, you will typically give a short answer, such as the examples that you see on the chart. Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. No, you're not. Yes, she is. No, she's not. Yes, he is. No, he's not. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Yes, we are. No, we're not. Yes, you are. No, you're not. Yes, they are. No, they're not. Now it's your turn to practice. Give as many examples as possible, forming questions and answers, and then share them in our discussion forums. Okay. China, are questions? we late? Are they in any doubts or questions? Pregunta, dudas? Okay. Uh, this is what we're going to do. Yes, you are. No, you're not. Yes, they are. No, they're not. Now it's your turn to practice. Give as many examples as possible, forming questions and okay, this is the answers. Answer, right? And then now we're going to uh, formular preguntas y respuestas y compartirlas. Aquí dice en el foro, pero lo que vamos a hacer es hacerlas en el grupo. Okay, so we're going to go. Entonces, en los grupos que queden, ustedes van a comenzar y van a decir, por ejemplo, eh, I am Luisa Bellán, uh, I am a English teacher, I am a, a, I like football, a, I am not a soccer player, okay? I am not an engineer, okay? Y a ustedes después de eso, que digan las oraciones afirmativas y negativas, después pueden hacer esa pregunta. Okay, uh, are you a doctor? Okay, no, I am not. Are you a teacher? Oh, yes, I am. Uh, is, y pueden hacerse de alguien más. Por ejemplo, si estamos en el grupo Carlos Rodríguez, Alison, Francisco y yo, yo le puedo decir, Carlos, is Alison a secretary? Que ella dijo, puede decir, no, que sí, puede decir, que, yes, she is. Si ella no lo dijo cuando dijo sus oraciones, usted no, no, she's not. O sea, tienen que ir tomando la información que cada va a ir, quien va a ir dando para después poder practicar y formular preguntas. ¿Qué necesitamos hacer acá? Uno, practicar la estructura de la oración negativa. ¿Ok? I am not, he is not, she is not. ¿Ok? I am not a teacher, he is not a teacher, she is not a teacher. Si hablamos de dos, they are not teachers. Eh, oración afirmativa, I am a mechanic, she is a mechanic, he is a mechanic, eh, he is an engineer, they are engineers, afirmativo. Y luego formular preguntas, ok, is she a mechanic, no she isn't, o oh, yes she is, is he an engineer, yes he is, or no he isn't. ¿Estamos? ¿Preguntas? ¿Alguna duda? ¿Sin pena? Sí. Ok, vamos a ver. Habemos 22 personas. 
Me faltan como siete u ocho. Pero bueno, vamos a comenzar. Eh, creo que nos salen como siete grupos de tres. Y tal vez uno. Me faltan siete. Tenemos 21 conmigo. Ok, entonces salen, van a haber tres personas en cada grupo. Ok. Entonces, se eh, vale un grupo un número predilecto ahí para practicar. Ok, vamos. Uno, dos, tres. Y yo voy a estar entrando en las que alcance a entrar en unos diez minutos de práctica. Y traten de hablar desde que, desde que comienza, desde que entre. Para que tengamos unos diez minutos de práctica y yo voy a procurar entrar a todos para ver si tienen alguna duda o pregunta. Ok, one, two, three. Ariel. Amanda, Brian. Mande. Ok, no le ha llegado la invitación. No. Ok, para que se conecte los, al grupo. Y que hágale una con una para la sala 3. No, no me han caído. Lo dije ahí tal vez. Ahí está ya. Eh, que ver, Claudia. Solo que le envíe al. Déjame ver un movimiento. Ahí estamos. Aquí le vamos a hacer un movimiento. Ok, a ver si hay que darle uno. Aquí le envío, le envío otra. En algún lugar de su pantalla le va a aparecer ahí que se tiene que unir a una sala. Bien, Ariel. ¿Qué le pasó a Ariel? ¿Todo bien? Ariel, sí. Prueben esa sala, Ariel. Solo hay dos. Yo podría decir en este caso, eh, Karina, puede decir, yes, she is, yes. eh, she is a nurse. Oh, eh. O decir en este caso, usted, Hilda, puede decir, eh, eh, no, I'm not, I am a, 
eh, engineer, por ejemplo. ¿Qué podría ser una, una, una oración, en posit una respuesta en positivo o negativo? Oh, ah, yeah. ya. Yeah. Por ejemplo, ella le preguntó, ¿Are you a nurse? ¿Es usted una en este, ten, en este caso tendría que ir complemento. Pero... Sí. Correcto, sería una respuesta. ¿Cómo podría responder usted? Ah, yo le dije, yes, I am. Correcto. Sería la respuesta afirmativa, ¿verdad? Y en este yes, caso, si fuese negativo. Y si fuese negativa oh, la respuesta. No. I am a teacher. Por ejemplo, no hayan a teacher. Ajá, correcto. Usted podría decir, no, I'm not. I am a teacher. Pero está bien. Mm. Eh, por ejemplo, eh, le haré una pregunta no. a, a Karina. Eh, are you happy? Yes. Yes, I am. Correcto. Y si no podría decir eh, no, I'm not. Sí. Con respecto a las a las otras de, de, de los lugares, por ejemplo, are you from como estaba hablando a Huachapan? Uh -huh. Ese es un ejemplo del, del, del lugar. Ya las, las otras, como I am, I am not, I am not teacher. O I am not, not mechanic o mechanic. Uh -huh. Bueno, eso es lo que yo entiendo. Sí, está bien, solo que quiero ver, creo que también, no sé si alcanzo a distinguir aquí porque la pantalla no, no sé, no sale bien en el video. Are they in Canada? Son, ah, son, son, son ustedes de Canadá, entonces podríamos decir ahí, ah, tal vez. Sí, bueno. Ajá, ya hablando acerca de, 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 sí, de ustedes. Sí, porque los ejemplos dicen, I am not from, from Nueva York. Ajá. Entonces, Con respecto a eso, a ustedes se les hace más fácil porque están del, de la computadora. En cambio, en mi caso, no porque estoy de un móvil. Por dos. Sí. Ah. Sí, yo, la, yo, se yo hace, creo que aquí la Se nos hace anotado. un poquito. Ajá. No, yo también difícil. estoy del teléfono. Estoy en el teléfono, yo también. Ah, pues por tres. <risa> ¿Y, ¿Y el teacher? Yo también sé. Ah, no, yo no. <risa> por cuatro. Tres. No, no, por tres. Eh, ¿qué, ¿Y qué es lo que qué no pueden ver ahorita? ¿Qué es lo que ves por el. Es la que. Pero, ajá. La, la, a las conversaciones. Uh -huh. Ajá, la, los ejemplos. El ejemplo que usted, que usted había puesto ahí, el que sale en el video. Ese creo que no pueden ver. Pero para ver, poder ir viendo ejemplos. Que dicen, no sé si... Ver cómo se va. No. Pero podemos ver, ya les encontramos una solución. Loading, loading, loading. Subject. 
take the example. Okay, I guess this one. This allows me. Okay, can you see it? <laughs> Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Okay, this is assistant and negative, interrogative, and the affirmative. It, it is. Mm -hmm. Si le quieren le pueden tomar un screenshot y lo pueden tener también ahí. No sé si también si, si se les hace fácil. Mm. Plus complement. So let's try to make sense of this. Okay. Las pre a, a preguntas preguntas afirmativas, negativas y un contractado también. Okay. Sí, la la, eh, la, la contracción. Aquí está la clase, eh, teacher, pero eh, estoy en mi trabajo, entonces solamente con audífonos nos estoy escuchando. No hay problema. No hay problema. Uh, okay. Sí, estamos bien. Ay, Dios cosa? mío. Hay dudas, yo, yo, yo siento que yo estoy atrasada, teacher. ¿Qué le pasó? ¿Qué? Dígame, ¿qué? ¿Qué en duda? serio, yo. No, yo estoy atrasada, le comentaba aquí a, a, a un compañero, no sé. Me, me cuesta, sí entiendo lo, lo, la estructura, pero al momento de estar. Este, eh, a, a, formulando la pregunta o contestando me cuesta. Sí, Yo, falta, sí me, me cuesta. Es práctica, pero acuérdate que eso es Tengo la práctica. Que practicar. Es la práctica, exacto. Entonces, te, es obvio que si no se ha practicado por mucho tiempo, va a sentir esa, esa dificultad al inicio, ¿verdad? Pero entre más lo practique, más se va a ir adaptando al, a la estructura, a la formulación de las preguntas. Ajá. Entonces, obviamente sí. el principio va a sentir eso, o sea que, y no quedarse atrás, lo, lo importante es no quedarse atrás, aunque sienta uno que está cometiendo errores, pero, o sea, seguir hacia adelante. Okay. Sí, teacher, el, el, problema, el problema que tiene aquel es de que eh, el verbo no sabe ubicarlo en preguntas, en afirmativas y en negativas. Uh -huh. Ahí es un poquito, pero eh, creo que lo va a superar. Sí, mire, la, es, digamos en esta, bueno, toda la estructura es igual, si se lo pone el sujeto, que es yo, tú, él, hay, y después va el verbo, justo después va el verbo, dice I am, y ahí está yo soy, ok, I am a teacher, ¿Sí? soy un profesor, el soy, ahí está el verbo, si usted lo hace en negativo, I am not a teacher, yo no soy un profesor, eh, luego, este, si es pregunta, Solo le da vuelta. ¿Am I a teacher? ¿Soy yo un profesor? ¿Are you a teacher? Okay. Este es otro uh -huh. Solo pone el verbo que está la, la palabra que está a la par del sujeto. Dice, ¿Are you a teacher? 
ok. Tenemos que eso okay. La, digamos, la, la estructura, pero hay que ir practicando, como dice Iván, poco a poco la va a ir preparando. Ok. Ok. Uh, ánimo, ok. Here you go. Gracias. Ok, Jacqueline. Estamos ya, o ya, ya le digo. Sí, sí. sí. Teacher. Yes. Este, nos hemos hecho así como una más o menos presentándonos. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Está okay. bien. Por ejemplo, ah, uh, yes. Ajá, dígame. Porque si el verbo to be, este, podemos hacer toda la clase de preguntas. What, what is your favorite color? Toda esa clase. Claro, claro. Is your favorite color blue? What's your favorite food? Uh, what is your favorite uh, movie? Uh, is your favorite uh, movie is there an action? Lo que haga, lo que quiera, no problem. Sería como el tell me about yourself. Perdón? Sería como el tell me about yourself. Could be. Uh -huh. Could be tell me about yourself and then you can start talking about you. Yes. Using simple sentence, affirmative or negative sentences. Yes. That's correct. Okay. All okay. right. Good. Are you Barber Edwin? Edwin? Hola. Are you barber? No, I not. I am an accounting. Are, are, you, are you florist? Uh, yes. <laughs> ya me dijo que es florista y la usted le vamos a pedir. <laughs> <risa> a usted le vamos a pedir arreglos florales no. la dudó, la dudó <risa> la buena, creo que yes ah, uh, yes are you taxi driver, Edwin? <risa> no, I not I am an accounting I say yes <risa> just like that <risa> ok good, good, All right. continue practice, sigan sí. Sigan la práctica. Okay. Era, perdón, teacher, era practicar okay. la palabra, las oraciones negativas y, cre, y crear oraciones, formular oraciones, ¿verdad? Eh, en preguntas, ajá, las eh, formularlas, digamos, de acuerdo a su, a su perfil, ¿right? Uh -huh. Tell me about yourself. You say, I am, a, I am an engineer, I am a mechanic, I am a, a football player, I am a good doctor, I am a, a secretary, if you say Lisa, or I, I am a nurse, I am a, a, what else can be, a programmer, okay, so you can use affirmative. I am not, I am, I am not short, I am not fat, a, I am not, I am not a woman, I am a man, right? So you can just start the okay. mm -hmm. la pregunta, right? Uh, for example, is Elisa uh, a doctor? Ya le dijo ya que sí, yes, she is. Si le dijo que no, no, she is. Okay? She is not a, a doctor. Uh -huh, correct, she is not a doctor. She is what? Perdón, no escuché. She is, she is what? She is. Perdón, perdón, es que no se escucha mucho. Tengo what, el problema. What is she? He is a, he is a student. Okay, she's a student. That's correct. Very good. Are you a study? Are you a student? Yes, yes, I am. Yes, I am. That's correct. Good. Y... Okay, good. 
How are you, Terry? Michela? How are you, teacher? Good. ¿Cómo va todo? ¿Todo bien? No problem. ¿Se presentaron? Eh. Okay. ¿Más so, so long. Ok. Por ejemplo, uh, Gisela, ¿estás en la pregunta? Por ejemplo, ¿estás en la pregunta? Perdón, puedo ya repetir que mi perro está latiendo, no escucho bien. ¿Estás en la pregunta? ¿Estás en la pregunta? Sería... Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Yes. Yes, I am. Yes, I am in class. Correct. Okay, good. So these are the questions that you have to, to ask, right? These are the questions that you have to elaborate, right? Elaborate a little bit more. Okay, good. Nice. Try to practice a little bit more, okay? So just let me... This is the one. Waiting for the others. Se nos han quedado los otros en el camino. Okay, Kenny. Twenty one coming back. Here we are. Yes. 22, I think Hakan Dostra, two more. All right, people, so we're going to. Well, 22 came back. Okay, I'm so in the chat. No, ahorita vamos, Elisa. Okay, good. Uh, we're going to have this one. The this was the there's no questions. These are the knowledge check that you can do. Then we have the syllable express. Syllable express. Pero antes de, antes de hacer esto, vamos a pasar la lista. Luego nos vamos a la práctica, right? Just let me see, we have uh, Abiel. Abiel Zavala. No. Yesterday tampoco. Okay, good. Uh, Alison. Alison is here. If you know. Uh, Amanda Lisette, Elias. Present teacher. Okay, good. Then we have uh, Ana Vilma Morales. No. Um, Angel Ariel Abigail Torres Ariel Abigail Tell me you were at work 
Uh, Brian Antonio. Yes, huh? Regresó Brian. Brian, Brian. Brian. Sí. Mande. Ok. Ahorita estoy pasando. Present, present. Yes, yes. And yes. Ok. Uh, Carlos, Carlos Cruz. Present, present. Ok, good. Carmen, Carmen Salina Portillo. No. Ok, Ceci Guadalupe. No, it's not here. Present. Ok. Eh, Claudia Elizabeth. Present. Eh, Claudia. Claudia Guillén. Then we have uh, Claudia Stephanie Mengibar. No, Claudia. Claudia Mengibar, no. Okay, then. Uh, no. Dalia Margarita, I guess, right? Yes, yes. It's a florist. There is. <laughs> there is. Present teacher. Deborah. <laughs> yes, I forgot all that. Good. Deborah. Yes. Yes. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yes, you say yes. Yes. Deborah, and then we have Edwin Elgardo. Yes, it's here too. Present. Ed, Edwin Eduardo. El otro Edwin. No, solo uno. Ok, no, no es aquí. Eh, Elsa Karina. El teacher. Yes, Elsa Patricia. Yes, right. Present. Yes. Francisco Antonio. Present teacher. Ok, good friend. Let's go from friend Gisela. Here. Mm. Yeah. Hector Ivan is here too. Here, perfect. Helen. Okay, Helen Vanessa. And Hilda Norma. Yes, yes. Uh, yeah. Ivan yeah. Ibrahim. Yes, he's here. Present, boss. Jacqueline Karina. Present, teacher. Yes, Jaime Ernesto. And Janet Carolina. Present teacher. Okay, good. All right, so here we go. Everybody, good, thank you. All right, so then in the next video, we're going to practice pronunciation and the express in the and the numbers. Hi everyone. In this class, you'll learn a few rules on how to stress syllables. And we will learn how these rules are essential in order to convey our meaning. There are two very simple rules about word stress. Number one, one word has only one stress. One word cannot have two stresses. If you hear two stresses, you heard two words. Two stresses cannot be one word. It is true that there can be a secondary stress in some words, but a secondary stress is much smaller than the main primary stress and is only used in long words. Number two, we can only stress vowels, not consonants. In this class, we will focus on stressing numbers and in future classes, we will dig into more advanced uses of this topic. Let's take a look at the following numbers and their pronunciation. Notice the stress syllables. 13, 30, 14, 40, 15, 50, 16, 60. If you hear all the numbers starting at 13, we will stress the second syllable and similar numbers such as 30, you'll, you'll stress the first syllable. 
This is the reason why whenever you hear a number, you may not be clear on whether the person is talking about 15 or 50. Now it's your turn to practice pronunciation. I would like for you to practice repeating these numbers and their pronunciation and record yourself on bookru.com. After that, you need to share the link of the recording in our discussion forums. Hi everyone, in this class you'll, ha you'll stress the first syllable. This is the reason uses of this topic. Let's take a look at the following numbers and it's only using long words. Here are two stresses. You heard two words. Two stresses cannot be one word. It is true that there can be a secondary stress in some words, but a secondary stress is much smaller than the main primary stress and is only using long words. Number two, we can only stress vowels, not consonants. In this class, we will focus on stressing numbers and in future classes, we will dig into more advanced uses of this topic. Let's take a look at the following numbers and their pronunciation. Notice the stress syllables. 13, 30, 14, 40, 15, 50, 16, 60. If you hear all the numbers starting at 13, we will stress the second syllable and similar numbers such as 30, you'll, ha you'll stress the first syllable. This is the reason why whenever you hear a number, you may not be clear on whether the person is talking about 15 or 50. Now it's your turn to practice pronunciation. Okay, so then we have, for example, that we're going to stress the second syllable in the number 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And then in the other one, we have the opposite, right? 40. Okay, you have 30. 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. Okay, so then that's how the, the stress works, right? You go 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. All right, now, Ivan? Can you read from uh, 13 to 19? 15 to 19. 13 to 19. 16, 16, 13, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Okay, so go 13, 14, 15. Good. I mean. I mean 13, 14. Uh, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 20. Okay. Uh, this is the new term that we have. Okay, so next is going to be Hector from 13 to 20. Pardon, teacher. The number 13 to 20. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 20. 20. Okay, Janet. Janet, number 13 to 20. Cuál? 13 to 20. 13, look at the mouse. 
13 to 20. I would like 13, 14. Hey, Janet, can you hear me? Escucha. Okay, Patricia, yes. Mm. Tell me, Pati. Mm -hmm. Patricia. I I am participating. <laughs> okay, go, go, go. Practice. 13. 14, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And 20. Okay, and 20. Okay, good. And 20. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, now we're going to practice without. Uh... For you to practice repeating these numbers. Okay, so you're going to tell me the numbers from 10 to 20 and then from 30 to 100. Okay, you're going to say 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. 19 and 20. Then 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. Okay, and that's it. Good, let's see. Um, Deris, tell me the numbers. Del 10 al 20, y de ahí 30, 40, de 10 en 10, hasta el 90. ¿Cuál es mi dio? Del 10 al 20 y luego de 10 en 10, del 30 hasta el 90. Uh, 10, 11, uh, 20, 12, 12, 13, 11, 13, 13 14, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. 19, 20, uh, 13, 14, uh, 14, uh, 14, 16, 14, 14, 15, 15, uh, 16, 16, 16, uh -huh. 16. <laughs> okay. uh, 70, okay. 80, 18, 80. And 90. And 90. Okay. All right. Good. Just uh, give me a second, Francisco. Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, and 90. And uh, 90. Okay, good. Uh, anybody else? Otro voluntario? Okay, Carlos, go ahead. Okay, Carlos. Okay. Uh, 10, 11. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 12, uh, 30, 30, 40, 40, uh, 50, 60, 80, 70, 80, 90, 100. And 100. Okay, good. Now, uh, who was the other volunteer? What's the other one? Alguien me levantó una mano de una señorita. ¿Quién fue? Ok, Ariel, yes. Go. Eh, pero no está transmitiendo ahorita la pantalla, ¿verdad? No. Nope. Ah, entonces de 10 en 10. De primero del 10 al 20 y luego de 10 en 10. Ok, Juan. Eh, Juan. No, 10, 10, ah, okay. 11, 10, eh, eh, 20, 20, 
eh, 30, eh, 40, eh, 50, eh, 60, 70, 80, eh, 90, eh, 100. Eh, okay, 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 that's it. <laughs> okay, so that's it. Eh, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, la idea es practicar que se ven del 13 al. Vamos a ponerlas a cargo. Quiero que vean esto, tienen que enfocarse. Ok, you have 10, 11, 12, then 13, 14, 15, organiza el final, 16, 17, 18, 19, 10, right? This is 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, T, not teen, 70, 80, 90, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, and 90. Okay? Okay, one more volunteer. One more, one more. Actually, we're going to have two more. Okay, Ivan. Go ahead. Okay, Edwin, come on. Eleven, uh -huh. twelve, fifteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, thirty, okay. forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty. Night and night. Okay, good. Carlos. Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, six, seventy, eighty. 90 and 90 okay okay so then this is the 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 objective right that we have to pronounce 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 and then 30 40 50 60 70 80 okay this one's Del 13 al 19, right? Tin, 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 y ahí va hacia arriba. Y del 30, 30, hacia abajo. 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. Ok. Then. and their pronunciation and record your okay and the next one is that says in this class you will become familiar with uh, numbers from 11 to 103 and talk about your age and the age of relatives and friends you want to practice como decir la edad okay siempre con los números Hi everyone, in this class you'll become familiar with the numbers from 11 to 103 and talk about your age and the age of relatives and friends. Let's start by listening to a quick conversation which illustrates how this topic is used. Who's that? He's my brother. Wow, he's cute. What's his name? James. We call him Jim. Oh, how old is he? He's 21 years old. What's he like? I bet he's nice. Yes, he is. And he's very smart, too. And who's that? My sister Tammy. 
She's only 12. Now let's practice expressing the numbers. Listen and repeat. 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 30 40 50 60 70 80 90 100 101 102 103 Now is your turn to practice and record yourself on the website mokuru.com. After you record yourself, you will need to share the link on our discussion forums. Okay, so these ones are the numbers, right? Up to you get to 103. And in this one. Hi everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to form WH questions with B. The first thing that I would like to explain is the WH words. Whenever we say WH words, we refer to the following. Who? Okay, so the important thing in this video is to say what's your name is the question with what, well, right? Where are you from? The location? How are you today? This is to ask for somebody's uh, health, como está alguien de salud, right? Who is that? You want to know the, uh, first the what, probably the, somebody's, what can we say here? Something like a simple word. When you want to know the name of a person, who is that or who that person is? Is my brother, the relationship with, that you have with that person? How old is he? Okay. This question is different. This one in Spanish is, ¿Cuántos años tiene él? Right? Así como traducido sería algo así que, ¿Cómo viejo es él? ¿Qué tan viejo es? Right? But in Spanish we say, how old is he? ¿Cuántos años tiene él? How old is she? ¿Cuántos años tiene ella? How old are you? Right? And they say his. Look at this one. What's he like? Okay, what's he like is como es el physical appearance. I mean the sorry, the this is the not the physical, this is the eh, personality. What is la personalidad de la persona? Como es. Eh, refiriéndose a si es enojado, contento, agradable, educado, right? Tiene que ver con nuestra forma de ser. Eh, who are they? ¿Quiénes son ellos? Where are they from? And this is what is real like. Okay. Como es Rio. Okay. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful city. What is San Miguel like? What is Santa Ana like? What is El Salvador like? Es cuando se quiere la descripción de algún lugar. Okay. So this is what we are going to study tomorrow. Okay, vamos a ver este video. Practiquen esas preguntas que esa va a ser la práctica de mañana. Okay, esas nueve preguntas que están ahí. All right. Okay, people, that's all for today. I will see you tomorrow. Okay, have a good night. Thank you, teacher. Good night, teacher. Good night. Bye, teacher. See you tomorrow. Bye, you tomorrow. teacher. Bye, bye.